All right, folks, and welcome back to another episode in our adventure in the visual novel, If My Heart Had Wings. Hope you all enjoyed the last episode. I know I did. Despite the... Yeah, so last episode, Asa finally has pushed the step forward to join the Soaring Society which I would imagine will soon be the actual soaring club once again. And Yoru is very disinterested and it's gotten to the point where she doesn't even want to hang around the group, but then pulls a stunt on her sister, Asa, where she commits panty theft. No, that was not a speaking error, not petty theft, panty theft stole her own sister's panties and then took a snapshot of them of her wearing them and then dares to tell her sister not to ignore her okay wait a minute yoru if there's anyone who's being selfish right now it's you okay your sister has found something that she actually has interest in and has found a group of people who have the same interests as her quit being a jerk okay don't be a jerk if you can't get with that, then you may need to find a group, take some notes and find a group yourself. So the moral of that particular story, folks, is don't be a jerk to your friends or relatives just because they find a group of people that possess the same interests as them. That's not cool. It's, it's shady. It's rude, it's immature, and it's ridiculous. So, with that out of the way, I'm on it. Would you do the honors of loading us that previous scene of right after being told that someone has committed panty theft? Thank you. Here we go. Still affected by this incident, we managed to finish the cleaning in half a day. It's quite tidy now, isn't it? Okay, let's get some sleeping bags. Why not? Let's have a little sleepover. I got, I'll get the projector and a couple of movies and a little sound system. <laughs> we can't just throw things away, so it's still quite jumbled, but cleaner than before. Asa, you all right over there? Besides that little incident, but other than that, you okay? Thank you, Katori. Thank you very much. Didn't mean to eavesdrop on that part, but trust and believe I will not go and tell that to anyone. That is private information, so what happened in this event stays at this location, stays between us. So you folk out there who are telling all the dirty laundry and stuff, knock that off. Learn to, have to respect some people's privacy, all right? Asa, come on now. Let, let's keep it in reality here. What? Really? Anyway, that's too much hassle to get involved with, so I pretend not to hear, as I put down the photo frame. This should be okay here. I put the photo frame on the desk, which stands at about waist height. I brought this from the dormitory, along with the vacuum cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> we can't let down our past selves or Amane. These are the feelings we've had up until now. On that day, one thing ended, but it was also the start of something new. Asa seemed a bit down when she came over to take a look at the picture of all of us. 
She was the only one not there. Good idea. That cheered her up. That's awesome. So da, on the toki da kaja nakte sa, fuda kara tote okimasho yo. Yeah, start your own yearbook. That's a good thing to do. Watashi tachi no katsudo no kiroku te koto de. I've had a bad habit of that in my own life. Not doing that. That is. Yeah, that sounds good. Something we can leave behind for our successors, so they can see what kind of things we did. This is a club, isn't it? We'll leave it behind for the generations to come. What? Even though we have a new member? In the same way that we inherited the glider from Amane, I thought we'd leave something behind for the ones who were looking up at the clouds with the same feelings that we had. Maybe it's still too early to be thinking about that. But it was fun to think about that kind of future. Girl, you need to grow a spine. It's taking everything I have right now not to get in this girl's face and tell her off. Unbelievable. And how long has she been kind to you? But now because she's found a group, now you're the one who's being a jerk? It's a good thing I'm not there, because I definitely would have torn her a new hole in her head for common sense and logic. Yeah, yeah, you didn't think about who would be around, did you? You didn't think about who was around at the time, did you? Yeah, you exposed yourself. Congratulations. And he saw your legs, Yoru. Huh? Folks, you might want to let this be a lesson as well. Playing jokes or basically administering disciplinary action in that sense, probably not the best idea to do that on the digital network. Just saying. Since moving our base of operations to the secret base on Windmill Hill, our club, activities, our club activities were getting more serious. Until now, we'd been working underground, and we couldn't achieve anything that stood out that much. So now, it was our chance to work hard. The first thing for us to do was work on the repairs to the damaged aircraft. ガラスマットが吹くんだ空気を刷毛で押し出すようにして樹脂を塗るの。こうでしょうか。塗りすぎ。もっと少しずつでいいから。このくらいですか。まだ多い。FRPは樹脂の割合が多いと強度が弱く
the same way as one year ago when Aga taught Kotori. They were making a dish from FRP. Asa knocked over the bucket filled with resin. A little bit on the uh, clumsy side, but then again, how many of us are not? Asa seems disheartened as she apologizes. However, Aga doesn't go easy on her. Well, blame Kotori for telling her to do it fast. <laughs> it felt like As Agaha was saying, if you understand, then that's all right. And she came back over towards me. Agaha and I were repairing the damaged parts of the aircraft. FRP repairs are carried out in much the same way as when joining the parts that have been built separately. We attach the glass mat to the back of the damaged parts, spread the resin to laminate it. Once it's dry, we sand it, then paint it again, and then it's finished. It's pretty easy. The problem is that when we reinforce the damaged areas, the FRP becomes thicker, which increases the weight. Of course, it's a problem if it becomes heavy, but in the case of a glider, the balance of the aircraft might also get messed up. Yeah, next is the body. These are the cracks that we haven't been able to fix for a year. Well, we wanted to do it so we'd be able to fly again soon. <laughs> You're gonna do that a lot and it's your first time doing stuff. And I can't count how many mistakes I've made in audio engineering in my first sets of time doing it. Asa let out a sigh as she cleaned up the resin that she had spilt. It was spilt on the floor so it can't be used again due to the impurities being mixed in it. But because they are using it to make a dish as practice, it can still be used for that. As Agaha said, there is a limit to our materials, so when we run out, we don't have the funds to be able to replenish them easily. Your time's doing the resin? Kotori relaxed, closed her eyes, and started to tell a story about something. The way she looked was just like a great actress looking back on half of her lifetime. <laughs> yeah, it looks like Aga is not very amused. Wow. Ageha threw down the brush she was using to spread the resin. Next to her, I held onto my stomach as I broke into a fit of laughter. 
<laughs> what is this? Don't make me laugh. I can't, I can't off my head still. <laughs> Watch out, Asa. Sometimes she makes a really serious face and still some hilarious things. Katori started throwing things at us in anger. Ow! Sorry, sorry! I'm just kidding! Ah! Well, that's a little bit, uh, out there. Sorry, I'm sorry! Well, I'm happy you feel that way, though. It's just that you need to have a sense of the time, the place, and the occasion. Isn't that right, Asaga? <laughs> Not knowing if we were joking or serious, Asa couldn't help Asa couldn't keep up with it and just watched us. Our friendship will last forever. Alright, get out. <laughs> oh no. She's really sulking now. If we leave it like this, it'll drag on for another week. I'll buy you an ice cream later. She turns her back to us as we tried the softly, softly approach to appease her and goes back to teaching Asa about FRP. A fire was burning in Asa's eyes. The repairs to the glider were soon completed. There were only cracks in a few places, and the repair work itself was quite easy. After that, we carried out a spot check of the whole aircraft and didn't find any problems. With that, we reached the point whereby, if we decided to fly, we could be able to. But... At Kotori, the leader's signal, Agaha laid out the designs. Asa stared at the detailed diagram. まさか。これはアマネちゃんが書いたのよ。アマネさん。あ、あの写真の方ですか？そう。アマネちゃんは天才だから。正真正銘のね。Kotori intentionally said it in a way that Yoru sipping instant coffee while sitting on a chair at the back of the room would be able to hear. Before, Yoru had stolen something important from Asa, and maybe she felt gratified by that, so now she sometimes comes here with Asa. Yoru didn't seem to be concerned as she ignored Kotori. 
Just like a cat who, with a nonchalant expression, decides to take a nap even when a dog is barking at her. The teachers and some of the students have been making a fuss over her, saying she's a genius, but I've never seen her claim that herself. She would often say that's because I'm stupid. She looks very pretty, she's tall, has a good figure, and is a very feminine girl. But her eyes are like a little kid's, and it was like she was looking at the world through a prism. There was a mysterious feeling about her. And hopefully we find out what that mysterious feeling is on the next episode of The Venture in the Visual Novel, If My Heart Had <laughs> So a little update on my cough. It is getting better. Uh, when I laugh, though, it does kick up the irritation to where I do have to cough, but it's not as bad as before as when I was just hacking nonstop, so I'm very grateful for that. But that's going to put the wraps on this episode. Interesting. Hopefully, uh, Yoru and Asa made up. I still think that Asa, not Asa, that Yoru is a jerk for pulling a stunt like that. And uh, considering the story of being told that I always saw her in that outfit because of the fact that the whole team was around when she sent that text, I say, Yoru, that's what you get. You want to play jokes or practical jokes or other factors like that in that regard? Like I said again, best to do that off of the digital network because you never know how far that might spread. So that being the case, I'm going to put the wraps on this episode for today. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. If you like what you saw today, maybe leave a like. If you'd like to see more, by all means, maybe consider subscribing. And until next time, happy mixing, everyone.